Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're tackling a question I always hear, which note taking app should I use? This question is a big decision, especially with many options. For individual use, Obsidian is often a good pick. If you're part of a team, Notion might be your go-to, but let's be honest, I've heard from many of you that these apps can sometimes add complexity than clarity. So what's the solution for those who want to venture into note taking without making a significant investment and not being overwhelmed? That's where Ample Note comes in. In this video, we're going in depth on top five features of Ample Note that will help you discover your workflow. We'll explore how Ample Note's intuitive workflow is an excellent start to learning. Plus, don't miss feature number four that might be a key to transforming your routine. If you want more techniques, tools, and hacks for your workflow, please subscribe to my channel. The Ample Node idea execution funnel is in four parts. Jots are where we capture our ideas. Notes are where we organize our ideas and highlights so we can refer back to them when needed. Tasks are where we prioritize our ideas. Finally, the calendar is where we plan to implement our ideas. Let's apply this to a content creator. Many of my friends are in professional jobs where they have to post LinkedIn as part of their jobs. They may capture an idea from a question they have been asked they can add the idea to jots. They can then use notes to find notes related to the idea or research further. They can add a task if they think it's good enough to post. Adding a task will help them prioritize with other ideas they have. Finally, they can add it to a calendar to plan when they work on it and publish it to LinkedIn. Let's closely examine each part with the best features I have discovered. My ideas come from tweets I've read, web articles that pricked my attention, in YouTube videos that I've watched, and questions people have asked me throughout the day. I can track these in the job. If the idea is worth investigating further, I can create a note from it and start researching it. Ample Note has a set of features that make it easy to capture these notes in a frictionless way. These include Ample Cap is a browser plugin that allows me to add screenshots, text, and bookmarks straight into Ample Note. Mobile Share, this is when we can use the iOS Share button to share images, text, highlights, and web links directly to Ample Note mobile app. Finally, Ample Notes has a Readwise plugin that allows users to sync their Readwise highlights directly into Ample Note. Once I captured these highlights, I add them to Daily Job. Let's have a look at these features in action. Users can activate the Ample Cap extension on their Chrome browser. Users can take screenshots, whole page extracts, highlight text, or bookmark into Ample Note with the extension. Once you have added your highlight, you can create a new note or merge it to another. If you are creating a new note, you can add a title or tags and choose if you want the note to be added to the main body or as a to-do item or bullet point. I usually add it as a to-do item so it creates a task to track. In daily jots, I usually go through new captures to decide what I want to do with the highlights. Is it an idea I want to explore or is it something I don't need? Users can use the share button on mobile to add highlights to Ample Note mobile app. Finally, Ample Note has a plugin for Readwise, which is still my preferred way of capturing highlights as it connects to many more sources. Daily Jots is a great place to add and work on new ideas. It is also an excellent way to review weekly to ensure ideas are remembered. But how do we flesh out these ideas? Let's look at the next part of the funnel. Once you have captured your highlights, it's time to make notes. This part of the workflow requires you to edit, refine and organize. Collecting highlights is excellent, but the actual value of these highlights is when you create your ideas from them, whether now or in the future. For me, it is also the part where I ask three questions. What was the highlight about? What parts are essential and relevant to my topics? And how can I use it in the future? Ample Note has a standard set of writing features, but these features stand out. Table creation and editing allow me to organize my thoughts. Backlink features allow me to link highlights to my ideas. Tag management allows me to tag topics I'm interested in and categorize my notes into different types. All of these are helping me discover the notes in the future. Let's see these in action and how I use them. Users can add tables by inserting a new table. New columns can be added by pressing the tab key. New rows can be added by pressing the return key. I use backlinks by typing double open brackets and selecting the relevant file. Once 
you have added the backlink, you can use the backlink section to move between notes and find other related notes. Tags are essential in note-taking workflows. Tags help us find notes and organize them. Ample Notes implementation is instrumental in maintaining an organized set of notes. Once you have added tags to your note, you have various options to manage them. Since there is no folders in Apple Note, you can create hierarchy using the forward slash. I do this to apply the para structure. The tag pane lets you quickly filter search to find notes you are after. Once these highlights are created, what do we want to do with them and how do we ensure we do it? That's where the following part comes into it. In many note-taking apps, we end once the ideas are formed, but AmpleNote encourages you to do something with them. In my case, my friends collect highlights regarding their professional careers, the aim of adding posts to LinkedIn to promote knowledge, create content for work blog to share with readers, to create content for training to help other professionals at work, and to create content for the course that they are creating. AmpleNote has a task mode to help you add tasks to your notes. The task feature that helps the most are task Creation allows me to set when tasks repeat, start, hide, prioritize, and estimate how long it will take to generate a task score to compare the importance of different tasks. The widget on my iPhone lists tasks that I need to review when commuting home. Mobile app to organize my tasks on the move. Let's see these in action. A user can add a task by creating an open bracket, space, and close bracket. This allows you to set whether the task will be repeated when it starts and the priority. There is a task score which changes based on the value you enter. You can see all the tasks using the sidebar item. The widget on my phone lets me see my tasks and I can use the plus button to add new tasks to my jots. Overall, the functionality of the task in Ample Node is capable of daily task use and note taking, but it's how it integrates with Calendar that really excites me. The final step of the workflow is planning your tasks. Being a fan of time blocking and batching tasks together means having access to a calendar to plan your week in your note taking system, which means it is one less app to think about. If you are a content creator, the calendar is a great way to plan your content and when it should be published. That's why Ample Note implementation has so much potential. The features that stand out for me are drag and drop of tasks into calendar, integration with Google Calendar for Pro users, support for different calendar views. Let's see these in actions. Once users have added tasks to a note, selecting the calendar option lets you see your calendar. From here, users can drag the task from the task pane to the calendar pane. The other thing about the calendar is that you can use different views by assigning notes to different views like work, personal and study, which help keeps the calendar organized. The calendar functionality is a big selling point of Ample Note, making it a complete package for note takers and productivity enthusiasts. If you enjoyed this video, please like it so I know to create more videos like this. The last set of features does not relate to the workflow, but is an essential set of features everyone should look at when picking a note-taking app. How does it integrate with other apps and services? Ample Note offers features to integrate by allowing Markdown import and export of notes, which makes switching apps easier, providing APIs to create plugins to extend the functionality and connection to online services such as Readwise and OpenAI, integration with automation services such as IFTTT and Pipe Dream integration to automate functionality with other services. Again, Ample Note has done an excellent job of catering to different needs, allowing users to migrate and leave Ample Note if required. From jots to calendar integration, there's so much we have covered in this video, but there's still more to discover with Ample Note. If you're looking for a note-taking app that is easy to pick up and use to develop your own note-taking workflow, Ample Note is a great starting place. If you enjoyed diving deep into Ample Note's features with me, don't miss out my next video, so hit the subscribe button. Let's continue this journey together in the following video. Goodbye for now.